This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hey everybody, it's your old pal Rob. Now today we're going to be looking at something that I discovered on our good friends over at Drive Through RPG. Okay, fantastic, fantastic, fantastic site. I love that site. I've spent more money there than I ever should, and uh, my library is just absolutely glorious. Don't worry, that was my phone, not yours. Um, so. Today we're going to take a look at something that really caught me. I, I printed it out and I, I put it in my little binder here. And this is Five Leagues from Borderland, the third edition. Now, it's a solo and co-op adventuring war game. Now, I'm not going to explain all the rules and everything like that because we're actually going to use this because I have uh, this stuff called Upzone. And I, uh, I was sent the pop-up dungeon stuff. So what I want to do is set up a, you know, a war band and kind of set up a little adventure where they go through an actual dungeon and and see how the system works with it there is an expansion out there for it we'll cover that in another video but uh we're going to go around the table we're going to talk a little bit about it and then we're going to come up and then i'm going to talk some more about it and let you know what my plans with this stuff is let's go down the table and so i'm going to go over this a little bit and um this is a big book Okay, I don't know. I've never seen the first or second edition. I just saw on, on Drive Through RPG the third edition, and I was absolutely f fascinated with this. Um, there's, I, 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 there's really not a heck of a lot that I want to go over, but I want to break down some of the things that you're going to find in here. Uh, I printed this out myself. So, again, you, you get it. 20 bucks, you download it, you print it out, you're off and running. Uh, you're going to be able to create your own characters, okay? And creating your characters is not going to be that hard. It's going to be a D100 system. Uh, so uh, that works out very, very, very well. Uh, the other thing is that um, you're going to run into is how everything works. It really works. The initiative role is really, really different. Depending on your war band, because what you're going to be doing is creating a massive war band. And I'm going to actually pull out some dice here uh, just so we can kind of talk about it a little bit. Uh, if you got four figures, you're going to roll. Now, if their initiative is most of, most of uh, their initiative uh, or, or is, is like ones or twos, if you can match a two, well, they will get to go in the quick phase. Okay, if you roll under, if they have initiative of, of uh, two and you can put this one to them, he'll get to go in the quick phase because it goes quick phase, then it goes enemy phase, and then slow phase. So these two numbers here uh, for my other two guys that do not have initiative, uh, that, that have like initiative one or something like that, well, these are going to be assigned to them and they are going to go in the slow phase. The cool thing about this is if you have to get somebody out of the way, if they're overwhelmed and, and having a problem, well, guess what? That is going to play a big part on who gets to go first. You want to make sure the people that are kind of banged up and you can maybe get out of a certain bad situation because honestly, if they are overwhelmed, they are going to die. You only you, only, you can only take two wounds and then shh, you're out of here for most things. Uh, the other neat thing about this is combat, how combat works. Range combat, it's pretty easy. You're going to have your range, and depending on the range, you're going to roll a die, and you might be able to add, like this, a 5. Well, that would cause a hit, okay? Uh, because usually anything within, within 6 inches of here uh, is a 3+. plus. Then um, it is a 5 for over 12 inches in the open. So you would have to roll a five. Now, if you moved and shot, you would only go by this number. But if you stood still and focused your shot, you would get to add your combat skill. When you roll your character, you are going to add, you are going to have a bunch of different skills. Also, your weapons can sometimes help things. Now, for instance, here, 
and forgive me for the the miniatures that I'm using I'm actually using from darkest dungeon okay we're in close combat okay this is where it gets really interesting and the combat is so fascinating in how it works and I know I'm showing you on a book but hey just bear with me all right so each side is going to roll the die we're gonna have the white die, die for our our knight here and then our skeleton okay perfect example okay number one he has a combat skill of plus one let's say because he's he's human he's leveled up a bit so he has a plus one so that's going to be a six he is a, an attacker okay he is attacking him and he is the defender so what would happen here his three he doesn't have a combat skill well guess what he's going to lose and he's going to take damage depending on the weapon and so forth and so on. You also have to declare what weapon you're going to have if you have more than one. Number two, the other thing that you're going to have to declare is what type of combat are you going to do? Are you doing a defensive stance? Because if you won this, now, no matter what, even if you lost that roll, you can't have the tables turned on you. And what do I mean by that, folks? Okay. Well, say, for instance, we rolled this okay and even with the plus one he's an attacking and he's being aggressive he attacks the defender but the defender wins the roll well guess what everything changes now because now the skeleton on the next next um uh, uh combat phase here becomes the attacker and our hero becomes the defender so you really want to make sure that you win and that you can roll enough that you can win and you can beat who you're going to beat or else the tables can't get turned on you and you can end up taking getting stunned or wound and if you get stunned that's going to give the attacker even more bonuses and more reason to be more aggressive and like i said two wounds and see you later fellas so a really really unique combat system uh the other thing i want to show you of course is the beautiful art that's in here setting uh you establish and you create your own map you create your own regions you establish your own settlements threat levels okay uh you determine your threat levels and then you kind of build a map and 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 then it just becomes this whole adventure thing and it depends on how you want to do do things now there are different scenarios that you're going to do and things like that and how you add them and draw them onto your map and stuff like that adds this complete fantastic role-playing aspect of it but you're not role-playing to be a single figure with with a supporting cast your war band is your your entire group and some are going to live and level up and become heroes others are going to die horrible deaths and you're going to have to replace them this plays a lot uh to some degree takes a lot of things from um a, a game that this uh is created by which is again um five parsecs uh in, from home i think it is and uh, it, you know what they've done with this is absolutely fantastic uh in another video we're going to be looking at an expansion for this that i also got which i was absolutely fantastic i thought was fantastic you can have history tables with a, uh, um, um, an avatar's history table you're going to be able to roll all kinds of different things creating your character is a ton of fun um, when you go to do damage, uh, as a matter of fact, I just happened to turn to it. When you hit, you're going to have to overcome their armor and then overcome their toughness. And that is going to create, um, like I said, those wounds and being stunned. And like I said, once you get uh, stunned or wounded once, well, guess what? Uh, that's going to be it. You're going to be able to cast spells. There are tons and tons of fantastic spells here. Um, and, and uh, that's a whole nother thing that we're going to show you how that works. Um, and just, there's just so much. It's 236 pages, but each one is absolutely just fantastic. You have all kinds of different types of enemies that you can roll up. And um, as you can see, they have their own stats, speed, combat, like I said, uh, how much damage 
uh, they do, their toughness, their armor, that you're going to have to beat um, who they are, what they do. They'll have certain traits like tough, uh, regeneration, and, you know, depending on who you fight, uh, the higher the result, of course, on the die, the tougher the, compet uh, the competitor. Um, tons and tons of just fantastic creatures that you can use. You can use any kind of um, miniatures that you have. And this just is something different that I, I just I, I just found and you know searching around and I got to tell you if you have a chance now Mophius has done some fantastic stuff in the past and uh, again I knew nothing about the first two editions I don't know if they're any better or worse but I know that I was absolutely fantastic uh, you know just uh, I, I found this absolutely fascinating and could not wait to show this and print this out to you especially since i have that up zone uh, dungeon stuff that i'm going to be showing you soon uh and some of the things that i can do in there with this fantastic little system some of the most fascinating things about this is the combat how you start the attacker and if you don't feel confident enough do you go into a defensive attack and just try to, okay, you know, I, I, maybe I can get something better. Maybe I can get out of this. I got into this somehow, and it's not working out the way I had hoped. Um, uh, this guy's stronger. All I got to do is try to get through this until I can find a way to break away. Um, that really adds a neat little thing to it. Or if you're very aggressive and you fail... Well, now your opponent becomes the attacker and you could end up being the one that gets eliminated from the game or wounded and taken out. Uh, just really interesting combat type of mechanics that I, I just find absolutely fantastic. The character creation, uh, the make your own map thing, you know, everything here just really, really reeks of just everything that you can possibly want in a... a a skirmish an adventure type war game that's for solo and co-op now listen with all the kooky stuff going on with dungeons and dragons why not take a look at this and start taking a look a little bit more at our good friends over at drive through rpg i think you're going to be really shocked at what you find there's a lot of great stuff out there and um all i can tell you is you will not be disappointed my friends check this game out uh, there's an expansion we'll have another video for that next week uh, and that is called the ancient land of dust which features skeletons and you know how much I love skeletons you use your own miniatures where you could use standees from uh, you know League of Dungeoneers or 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 uh, Dungeon Universalis. It doesn't matter what you use as long as it works for you. So, without further ado, my dear friends, until next time, it's your old pal Rob. We'll see you soon.